So guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about uh, fetching data from an external endpoint in your Swift UI apps. Now, in our previous video, we discussed the MVVM pattern and we used a hard-coded list as an example in that. In this video, let's fetch some JSON data from an external API endpoint and let's see how MVVM makes it look clean. Uh, for this video, I'm using this API. Let me show that this API, uh, this is a set of books. I think there are like totally eight of them. And these are like uh, from the Harry Potter series. But there are like hundreds of public APIs, free APIs that are available on the internet that you can like search for and start using if you want to uh, pull data off those. Uh, the, the method to do that would be exactly the same. For this particular example, we are going to be uh, using this particular endpoint. So let's get started, guys. So here I have a blank application. Let me just first create a model file. So I'll just create new file. Swift file next. Here is some index. Release date date. Is the date string? Yeah, it is string. Please ensure that the field names from here are exactly what you give here. Otherwise, it won't map correctly. Yeah, this is going to be a model file. Now notice that I have like uh, left out this original title uh, here, but that, that, that's not going to be a problem. As long as you don't mess up these field names, these field names should be exactly the same as here. Even if I give, give like, if I, if I omit this camel casing and give it like this, uh, it'll start throwing up errors. So ensure that the field names are exactly the same. And uh, yeah, now what we'll do is we'll create a view model file. Exactly the MVVM pattern, guys. Even if you haven't seen my previous video, just continue watching this and you'll get it in a minute. So new file, book view model. This is going to be our, this is, this is the file that's going to contain our logic. Class book view model observable object published where book list book list this is a array of type book let me initialize that and then i'll have a function function fetch data this will be an async function so i'm using this key, key way, uh, keyword so i'll write a guard statement guard let url equals url string what was that i need to write an else statement for a print fetching field return this should return yeah nice uh now this error would go away and uh after that, we'll make the actual call do, sorry, do uh, let data try with URL session session dot share dot data from URL URL if let decoded response equals try uh, json decoder dot decode decode hook dot self hook dot self from that you get what i'm doing here right i'm just simply trying to decode that json response uh, using this book model that's it 
and trying to map that data into this particular model so that I can like serialize uh, anyway uh, book list list decoded response so now the decoded response will be stored as a list inside this uh, published variable which will then be propagated to the view inside which this view model is being injected uh, I'll show everything as we go on guys so even if you don't get what I'm saying like just continue watching and you'll get it in a minute so we need to catch this obviously uh, catch print decoding yeah now we have a function that will fetch the data from the api endpoint for us this is an asynchronous function once again a, the reason why we are using asynchronous functions is that uh, there might be subsequent tasks run inside your app guys in that case one task might take more time than the others right so what this asynchronous uh, the async and await keyword would do is that it would tell the tell the uh, flow to wait until the task finishes and then use it in a particular space you'll get it wait just just keep watching so i'm going back to the content view and here i'm going to make use of the data the fetched data here so what i'll do is uh, first i'll inject that particular view model at state object where view model equals book view model uh, now let me just uh, mm, remove both of these put this inside a head stack now before that we need that this data here right so what we'll do is uh, we'll embed this whole thing inside a list and uh, view model dot book list uh, id index we'll use the index from here we have given an index here right yeah that's what we are using here and inside the v stack text uh, type sorry title item dot title fine and uh, text one more uh, item dot description fine uh, now let me put this we need to call we need to everything is fine but we need to call this particular function right fetch that otherwise the, the simplest way to call this would be to be writing an initializer here and then call it as soon as the app loads but we are not going to do that what we'll do is we'll embed this inside a hold on navigation view and then what i'll do is uh, add attach a task to this await view model dot fetch data now if this will wait for this to finish and once the data okay we can already see data appearing here maybe we shouldn't have fetched the description let me just remove the description and add something else like uh, say for instance pages pages is there a thing called pages yeah pages is there okay so pages pages yeah now uh, as you can see here data is already being fetched and then the data is being displayed here like we expected let me tidy this up a little bit yeah now this looks a little bit readable right 
st- still looks a little bit messy but yeah compared to before it's fine now uh, uh now if you notice here wait let me say, tell you one more thing uh, before we wrap up if you notice here this is a url right so in case you need to show an image here in case you need to show an image here you would need to make another call to that particular url fetch the image and then load it here that's a little bit uh yeah i'll show that here as well so that you guys can have a better idea i'm not just going to like yeah we'll dive it a little bit deeper guys so what i'll do is i'll simply uh, the simplest way to load that image and then display it here would be to like write a, another view that has that particular image and then put that view here so i'll do that uh, new file swift ui view next and this will be book image create this okay now what you will do is uh, let me remove this preview i don't need this preview and uh, book uh, this will remove this as well first let me let me uh have something that will okay this is the string that's going to be passed this is nothing but this particular url that's going to be passed and uh, uh i'll fetch fetch this first and if if that fetch is successful i'll display an image if it's not successful i'll display a grape placeholder okay so what i'm going to be doing is uh, go to my view model once again and then write a function to fetch the image uh, this is where it ends right yeah this is where it ends function fetch book image image url maybe i'll put this here as well so that published where image data this will be of data type data and then this is the function Let task equals URL session once again session dot share dot data task with uh, URL data. You understand what's happening here, right? We are simply getting an image URL which is this url that's going to be passed into this function and then fetching that image setting it here so that it gets published back to this view you get it right now let's write this so that it looks a little bit first i'll inject that state object and view model book view model right and then inside this uh some view if let age data equals view model dot image data let ui image equals ui image data image data
cool uh, you get what's happening here right i'm simply simply uh, having a placeholder image like thing and then when it appears i'm calling the uh, uh, fetch book image from here passing the image url as an input and this will do the task here and then uh, publish it to this particular image data which i am once again making use of here to return an image that's it so all i need to do is go back here and then put this v stack maybe inside a h stack h stack and then uh, book image image url item dot cover cool now you can see that the images have loaded here right nice uh, let me just give a little bit of alignment cool guys yeah that's exactly what i wanted to show you guys in this video now we saw how to retrieve data from this particular api endpoint and uh, yeah we also saw how to like manage if there are urls inside as one of the fields inside the returned data this is this is how you do it guys this is how you mvvm like makes it a little bit cleaner now you have this model file here and you have a separate file that like pulls the data off uh handles all the logic and returns the data back to the view and here inside the view it's pretty much simple what we are doing is simply getting the data from this injected view model and displaying it beautifully inside the app uh so yeah this is exactly what i wanted to show you guys today i hope this video helped you guys if you found this helpful kindly hit the like button and if you found this like if you really found this helpful kindly share it with someone and uh, if you have any doubts or if you got stuck somewhere kindly drop it uh, drop a comment and uh yeah like this video guys subscribe to my channel and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye